Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of our Fixed Perspective Scrolla. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to make animation events. Because right now, if you see, we go fight our mummy and whenever we slash it or hit it, you see, it reacts before the animation looks like we actually hit it. It's like, uh, it feels like it's dodging our attack rather than being hit by it, right? Because the animation hasn't showed that we are touching it and it's already uh, going backwards. So we want to fix that. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go to our player and where we have the animator in this game object, that is the Toon RTS Demo Knight, our model, we want to add a script. We're going to call this script Animation Event. So go to that and we are going to set our event here so i already did this but i'm going to do it again to show you so the first thing we do is make a public delegate void and we are going to make it an animation event with this we're going to create all of our animation events like for example when we want to deal the damage in which part of the animation we want to deal the damage in which part of the animation we want to play some special effects like uh, particle effects or or anything we are going to set those here in animation event so the next thing is make an event call I, in this one i call it on slash animation hit and it's going to be specific for the attack of our current character i just created remember to make it public static so it's public static event animation event and I call it on slash animation heat. And then this is what we will require for, for making our event. Now we will make a function that is going to be called by the animation. So I'm just going to call it void slash animation heat event. All right. So if I go back to unity and I select my player, you, you will see when we select the Toon RTS Demo Knight, and if we go to the animator, we will see that if we click on any of these transitions, we'll see that we have an animation. If you see down there, and I scroll through the animation, you will see there is a point around the half of our animation where the character hits. I would say it's about 33% of the animation, maybe 40% of the animation. You can see, you can actually check down here. The Don't listen to the percentage, just see the, the milliseconds and just get that from your animation. So I'm going to, on this frame, so I know it's about 20 in the real animation. We are going to trigger the event, okay? Because right now this is speed is 1.1 that that's the reason it didn't match the real speed but if you make it back to one and i hope what i'm saying is making sense you th you see this got longer it takes one second to complete so now if we scroll all the way to the part we want the uh, the event to be called here 0 0.2 seconds here's where we want to call our event all right so Make sure you return back the speed to whatever you set it to before. And let's go to here. We want to click the motion. So it will select it on the project. So if we click up here, it selects it down here. And we want the WK Heavy Infantry 08 Attack B. Okay. So we will have some information about the animation. And in the bottom part, we have curves events this is what we want so we open event and you'll see there is a time the time of the animation so we are going to add an event with this button and you will see two things happen we have a new event here and we have the window that allows us to edit this animation event so first of all i'm going to drag this to about 0 0.20 seconds which is around here I think and I'm going to rename this function how I'm going to call this function 
here in the script we just made we said this is going to be the function called by the animation event so I'm going to grab this name and I'm going to paste it here slash animation heat event so this is the event from the animation and this is going to call our own slash animation hit okay here and remember to add your parentheses so you can print something there I won't print anything there but here on slash animation hit because this is a static function and public we can call it from any other class and listen to it and add a function to this so that when this is triggered that function will be triggered as well so we didn't need to supply any parameters for our event so if we check our event float int is string these are parameters that you can supply optionally so for example if i had something here like string name you could also add a name on the event but we're not going to do that now i'm going to close this and i'm going to apply this i already applied it and now i'm going to go to my player controller and in my player controller i already was doing some stuff so for instance i made a new function called vo uh, called deal damage and what we do here actually i just took the code from attack routine so here in attack routine we had get enemies in range and then for each loop i replaced that with this function called void deal damage all right so what i'm going to do is going to delete this from here we don't need it anymore because our deal damage function is going to be called by the animation and we're going to call the animation from the deal not deal damage function from the attack function here attack function because we set the animator to two so that's going to trigger the animation of attacking and then this attacking animation is going to trigger the event which is this one so we want to add this function to that event how we do that we're going to go to start and on start you see i got animation events and i'm going to do this again animation events and we have a event called uh, on slash animation hit all right so we are going to add a function how we add a function we do plus equals and the name of the function which is deal damage and we don't need parentheses for this okay we don't need this just the name of the function remember that so on start we're going to add this function to this animation event and whenever that animation triggers that event we're going to deal damage so now if we go and try this again if you remember when i just show you the mummy was reacting too early now it should be reacting right when we hit it strike it with the sword and that's how we make animation events we're going to make more animation events in the future but for now just keep playing around with this and see what else you can do with the events if you have any questions please let me know and i really hope you enjoyed this video please if you like this video give it a like and remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you next time goodbye